So we're going to show you some tattoos on UFC fighters. We want to know what you think. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say anything about this one because I feel like they'd beat me up in person. Um, so it's cool. It's good. Thanks for watching. Are you a fan of UFC at all? I am. I actually uh, broke my leg in January in a Muay Thai fight. Do you have a favorite fighter? Oh my gosh, he's a, he goes to the gym. He's not, he doesn't go. There's a cardboard cutout of him in my gym. What's his name? <laughs> he goes to my gym. No, there's a cardboard cutout. I just see his face all the time, always looking at me. So I'm like, what's his name? It's the Irishman. The um. Conor McGregor? Yes, Conor McGregor, that one. Do you watch UFC? No, I don't. Awesome. Wow. That's not real. That's a d Oh my god, that is a uh, really, 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 really horrible positioning with everything. We could have got that a little bit more center, but that's okay. Probably it's taken a little bit of the roid, so it might have got a little off kilter. Who is that? Brock Lesnar. Looks like Brock Lesnar's back. Of course, f***ing Brock Lesnar would get this hot mother garbage. Conceptually, I love it. The delivery was not there. Honestly, yes. I wanted to knock him out before, but I want to knock him out more now. Brock, he's got some interesting tattoos. They're very large and uh, very white looking. Oh, Brock, yeah, no, um... That's a big no-no, man. I'd never tell him to his face, because, like, I don't have those type of balls, but yo. Wait, has he got, like, a... Is that... Is that, like, a... Like a, like a shank of some sort? Like, oh, someone help me. I believe they are meat hooks. Meat hooks? <laughs> On his traps? Oh, okay, that's kind of funny. What does the bottom say? Kill them all. That's very aggressive, sir. At the tramp stamp right there. I wonder who's looking at that when he's naked, you know? Guessing I know who that is by the back of the head I saw on um, things. I don't know the name of the dude, but I've seen that. Head, I feel I don't know um, even if you're not like the richest person around or whatever because UFC fighters don't really make that much money I just wonder how do you not know that there's better shit out there especially with like things like inked magazine um, Instagram the internet that's my biggest question when I see people with bad tattoos is okay did you know the second you got up from that that it was bad or did you have to find out from someone else that maybe your guy wasn't the greatest tattooer like, that's a bad man. That's a that's like one of the baddest men on the planet. Like, if I put that on his back, I'd be f***ing running out. Like, yo, I'm gonna go take a break and I would run. I'd be gone. No. He could beat up all of us without breaking sweat. What is going on? First I'm not familiar all. with this vampire creature. Alright, he looks like he'd kill me. Yo, that is intense, man. This guy. Oh. Oh. I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Who let Dracula out, bro? I'm sorry, I didn't even look at the tattoo yet. I really can't tell. This dude's really like ripped or dehydrated or something. I can't tell. It's oh a spider too. It's a spider God. with hands for butt. He does look like a little spider. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting the tattoo. So if I saw that tattoo, I would look at him and be like, that's him. If you ran into this guy in an altered state, what would you do? Uh, if I saw him in my head, I would be pretty f***ing shocked that I was able to see something that creepy off my own uh, things. But if I saw him in person on an altered state, I'd probably see beyond all that, in my opinion. So. What do you mean beyond to it? I would see probably more of like who he is in a reality instead of in this posed position. You know what I mean? You can see the little boy in people when they're caught off guard and instead of a aggressive photo. Wow. He has teeth. I mean, like that. Is that a mouthpiece or are those his actual teeth? <laughs> We're but talking about tattoos, but damn, his teeth. Wow. <laughs> That's his teeth. No, it's not. Stop. That's his teeth. Well, I need to look up this guy when I get home. You know what? On anyone else, I would really hate that tattoo, but he's got a thing going. He's got some creepy thing going, and, and I'm about it, so. Well, he looks good on him. <laughs> The damage. That's on a fighter. The damage. 
It's spell right. Oh man, I mean, are you the damage? Are you taking the damage? What's going on here, bud? So the tattoo artist, he knew that he was going to do a damage on him? He looks like he caused more damage to himself with that tattoo. I mean, the tattoo looks good. You know, it looks like someone did it well. It's pretty dumb, but it looks like it's done well, at least. You know, it's cool. I think it's, he, he's getting that, that aesthetic that he wanted out of it. Too bad it's a dumb idea. Are they supposed to be stitches? I'm dead. Um, it looks like worms, but I'm guessing it's stitches. But if it's a horrible stitch job. <laughs> Yo, I guess. I actually like the painting behind a little bit better. What's this guy in the f***ing background? <laughs> oh, look the face of the guy behind Yeah, him. that's like, creepy, yeah, yeah. If he did it, it's f***ing creepy. It's Adam Driver in the background <laughs> of his photo. Professor Snape is just creeping over, he's just like... I can hear that healing right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can hear it. Okay, guys, anybody who thinks it's a good idea to get any kind of, like, effect that your skin is, like, ripped or, or cut or something, like, just don't do it. Just... You, where are the tattooers that go, hey, don't do that? Okay, so first so, of all, the photo. I love the, of all of the pictures that he could have got of him. This is an interesting photo. I, I like, I like, honestly, I love the gorilla on his chest. I think that is so cool. His chest piece is decent, you know, like that's a solid traditional tattoo. Well, I like the tiger too. One of those ones too, I think, could have been done a little better. His stomach, I mean, I don't know. It's a weird looking tiger. Looks real faded. Doesn't look like it's gonna last very long. You can kind of already see it starting. To, all that's left really is the black, but his chest, his arm, pretty sick. Super fan of him. Like the way he fight and everything, but his tattoos, I do traditional. And I said, why? I mean, that tattoos couldn't be done so much better. Yeah. I mean, these are well done, you know? It's nice, you know? Notorious right above the, the you know, like the goods like the, you know, and then he's gonna give you some roses and give you a notorious McGregor. I love that meme of like, have you seen the meme of the, the gorilla with his face? Oh, my favorite uh, meme of his is when they like take the gorilla and then they put his face on his chest and then it's Connors with his. I think it's the funniest thing ever. I actually saw a uh, buddy of mine tattoo a portrait of Conor McGregor and he did the chest tattoo and it was like Inception. It was like a tattoo of a guy with a chest tattoo with a tat like a chat like a chest tattoo. Uh, words, what are they? Is this the card with cut up in your gym disinfectant? No, actually he's wearing a full suit and he's holding a tequila or a whiskey. No, a whiskey, sorry. Oh, sorry, he's Irish, it has to be whiskey. But that's the cardboard cut out at my gym, yes. <laughs> I feel like this would get ladies to join. I, you know that you're right. There are mostly men at my gym and they are very um, meat heady, but I love that. I just love the, you know, I'm like, yeah, I always go at four in the morning so nobody's ever there anyway. But yeah, that's that kind of gym. I like it. I kind of like it. I especially like his chest piece. I think his chest piece is badass. He's my close up. Really? No. <laughs> I was like, what? I mean, that's pretty good. That's a beautiful tattoo. That's on a UFC fighter, huh? There we go, there's something nice. There you go, a little research. For once I see decent work on a famous person, right? That's what kind of tattoos I wanna see on fighters. Guys, you have money and get those really nice tattoos. It's a little hard to read, but it's kind of cool. Um, I'd like to see the image not desaturated, but otherwise it's, it's, it's cool. There's too much like 75% tones to 99 and there's not really a lot of 100% black within it that I see. And I feel like if a lot of those areas were just done black and a lot of those light grays were more skin tone, like in the holes in the window, I feel it would just oh, lighten it up so much more. That's dope. I love that. Yeah, who is this? I actually saw this one get done because I, I used to work at the shop with, with the guy who did that tattoo. Yeah? It's a, yeah, it's a good, yeah, it was my old boss who did that one. Whoever you are. That's nice. You're dope. Come get tattooed by us. Get we have like cool ideas. A lot of time and effort. Honest opinion. I love the movement. I love everything about it. When you see tattoos like that on somebody, UFC fighter or not, that shows me that they're a very patient person. You can tell a lot about people through the tattoos they have. Like that shit doesn't take a short amount of time at all. That's a beautiful back piece done very well. So that dude's very patient, obviously, and values quality over quantity. So. I like it. Did you see that? I saw the term butt sleeve. Oh yeah, that? I got a butt sleeve. Is that? 
Are people really using that? Uh, I think once you have your whole butt tattooed, you know, I I don't know what else to call it, like a chastity belt of tattooing or something. So yeah, butt sleeve sounds probably better. <laughs>